All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. So one of the things I wanted to do before I put this rifle together or the lower is I wanted to just briefly go over some of the parts and pieces that we've got. Now, this upper is configured as such because I wanted something that was a little really fast uh, meant for something that was for close in within 300 yards. And to be honest with you, this 14.7 inch FM barrel and upper from uh, the boys over there at Palmetto State Armory suit my needs it spoils that muscle flash hider from uh, strike industries now i bought these guys uh one of the things this thing's topped off with the zenit co purse four as you can see right there that thing is absolutely awesome and then i actually bit the bullet and i, I purchased the uh, a surefire i've never really owned a surefire i wanted one except for i got the uh x whatever that 300 ultra and then I put this guy on it, the Haley Strategic Thorntail SBR Adaptive Light Mount. And I tell you what, set up perfectly with my hand. Uh, it works out nice all the way across the board. Look at that laser, man. That thing is bad to the bone. i got a friend of mine who's going to let me use a set of nods to uh, really put together some good stuff. But that pretty much completes the upper with exception. And I bought these uh, from... Uh, a uh, couple uh, Big Daddy Unlimited, but uh, rail mounted sight set, the Daniel Defense. So we're going to put that on this upper here pretty soon. Um, so, but what I wanted to do was go through some of the parts and pieces that we're going to be doing. And, and I bet everybody out there has got a box similar to this. And I've got a couple of these. I've got several rifle bills, the one box, two box, three box, and you just throw parts in it as they come. Uh, what we're going to do, and a lot of these parts and pieces were provided by the guys over there at Optics Planet. And don't forget, Optics Planet has, I, I've got a discount code over there, uh, kb 32 tac 5% off. little helpful hint. Uh, when shopping at Optics Planet, if you have an item that you really like and it says check availability, if it says that and you want that thing quickly, don't order that part go to something else, order an alternative, or you're going to be waiting you know, maybe as long as the manufacturer takes the in order to get the part piece, whatever. But what I'm saying is uh, check availability before you make an order. A lot of people are like, well, I can't do this or that. I can't stand their delivery times. Well, that happens to me quite often. As a matter of fact, uh, what did I order? I, I think it was the Lantac uh, BCG for the uh, 6.5 Creedmoor. And next thing I know, it was three to four months out. Not just there, but everywhere. Okay, so anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the CMC trigger. Uh, they're getting into the game of manufacturing parts and pieces. Uh, they've got their triggers. They've got this guy right here. This is the CMC. This is a uh, low-profile gas block. We'll be putting that on another rifle build. Of course, this is already done. We've also got the CMC AR-15 Complete Lower Parts Kit, which is pretty cool. They gave that, sent that out to the channel. And that's about... Yet. Uh, so, what we're going to do is I'm going to take a look at this real quickly today. I'm not going to do an install video because every, on this specific project, there's a lot of things going on. This also has the CMC bolt carrier group, which I will tell you what, I like. It's got the big extra hole right there or right here. Uh, I do like the nitride finish. It really is a nice. And also, they have the thickened area back here that helps prevent with uh, carrier lift. Okay, so let's talk about this real quickly. Lower parts kit, uh, these are pretty economical. You can pick these up for about 28, 30 bucks, but this gives you all the cool parts and pieces that you need in order to put a rifle together. And honestly, uh, lower parts kit is a lower parts kit. One of the things that you may find, and I have found, is that oftentimes this part right here does not allow for this thing to kick up as much so sometimes you have to sand that up not a big deal uh pretty cool there it does come with a trigger guard we are going to be using ah this guy right here this is a spikes tactical this was sent out to the channel by my good friend ethan manning manning and sons i'm gonna put the link down below also to his youtube channel guys if you're looking for some high-end stuff uh, hard to get used firearms give uh ethan a contact give him a holler Go subscribe to his channel, then you, you can link over with him by there. But he sent this out to the channel. I love this thing. Uh, there's a big, and, and you know, people always ask me, and I know we're getting off on a tangent, squirrel, but the big difference between, say, an Anderson and the a Spikes Tactical. This is, you know, $39 or whatever, and this is 100 But you can see 
if I roll that around, the, the difference in the shade and the anodizing, uh, the roundness, the you can see here on the mag well, uh, there there are some noticeable differences. Is it worth paying that much? Well, if you want something that's a little bit more special than your typical uh, the uh, pony, uh, yeah. And I like this one because it's got the embossed American flag on it right there. Really, really cool. As well as my blue stripe. And then, you know, Spike's Tactical. A Popka, Popka, Florida. And, of course, we were talking about Florida last night. All right, so... Let's talk about this real quickly. Uh, you, your kit comes like this. Six position, mil spec, carbine buffer tube, standard carbine, recoil, three ounce buffer, uh, high quality recoil spring, castle nut, lock ring, QD receiver end plate. Now, guys, that's important to me because I do run uh, the MS4 or whatever you call this thing, sling from Magpul. I don't even think this is a Magpul. This is a kind of a knockoff that I got, but it does say MS4 right there. And I like a two-point sling. Uh, I like the availability to transfer it to a single-point sling. Not that I'll ever use it, but in any case, it is there. But well, check that out. It does come with a QD base plate. That in itself will save you 18 bucks. Because typically, I'll be ordering some kind of... Uh, as a matter of fact, I've got four a couple rifles that are coming up. Uh, the what do you call it, uh, BCM base plates, and those are 18 bucks. So it's nice to know that this guy is available right out of the box. And I don't, I can't remember what the retail was. I'll put, put it down below, but there you go. It's important to me because I like a QD end plate because I like to have my sling a little bit tighter up, even though I am gonna run the Veltor stock on this guy right here, and it has a QD mount there. Nice thing about this UTG is I've got position here, here, here. There's one here, but I can't use it. Uh, but I can go ahead, I can attach my sling point here, and I can put it right here behind my grip. And I like that because I'm able to control it with this single hand here. Okay, we're not going to get into all the tactical shit. But uh, standard buffer. I like that. It doesn't rattle around. Do I have a buffer in here? Usually I keep a couple extra buffers around, but... I'm not going to do that too much. You people get something else on your mind. Uh, let's see. You've got the staking points right here on the castle nut. I like that castle nut. It's, it's, uh, it's steel or aluminum. I've had these things break on me before. But it's got some like tooling ridges right there. It's pretty nice. I like that. Now, here's the telltale sign. The inside, for me... Here we go again. You people are going to be like freaking out with all kinds of innuendos. But if you stick your finger in there, <laughs> um, you will find that on this specific one, I think it's just some dirt in there, but the internal finish is really clean. And what that does, it gives you the availability of being a nice, clean now, that doesn't capture right there. Let's see if it does it on this side. Nope. So those are... You guys are sick. I know what you're thinking. But in any case, uh, when you go ahead and you rack this whole thing, uh, you're going to get a clean effect, and you're going to get less wear if the interior of the buffer tube is smooth. Another thing I want to look at is how well it meet, mates up with this Veltor. Now, I have got a... We are doing... A new series. I know you guys are going to be excited about this. Um, now, that, there is just barely any movement on that, and that's important to me. So, that is a good job there, ladies and gentlemen. Another thing I want to look at while we're here, and I've had this, I've had it, actually had it happen on a BCM, is that the channel right here was milled out, not centered. So, what would happen is, you the the pin for the, what do you call this thing, the stock, would not drive down into these holes. So that wasn't good. So I tell you what, I was planning on putting a, a Veltor uh, buffer on this new series that I got going, but I might just go ahead and put this on it. I am going to put this on the budget rifle. Where, all right, Kev, let's just say it. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw I took a picture of two different barrels. One is a proof research carbon fiber wrapped 20 inch barrel 
and 223 Wild, 1 and 8 Twist. The other one was a Bear Creek Arsenal, 223 Wild, 1 and 8 Twist, both 20 inches. And we are going to do a budget versus elite. Uh, and you guys are going to be blown away at all the cool stuff that we're going to be putting on. The idea is to build a budget rifle that is able to compete in a DMR match as well building an elite rifle that is awesome and we're going to compare the two and see how they work well anyway uh so there you go i don't know what those little three holes are right there but that's pretty cool let's see if i can get you guys to focus in on that anodizing is absolutely beautiful i do like that uh we've got the lower parts kit we're running the uh cmc uh bolt carrier group on this thing and the only thing we're not running is a cmc trigger which i don't have one believe it or not the originators are at least i think the single stage trigger so in any case that's it guys um thanks again to the guys over there at optics planner for sending this thing out we're going to go ahead and put this lower together so you guys can see what it looks like at the end of the day and i will be done with this guy i was thinking that i was going to go ahead and run a I got a bunch of Magpul stuff, but I'm not going to paint this rifle. I'm going to leave it normal. It's got a boy 32. Hey, if you like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Give a shout over there to the guys over at Optics Planet, CMC Triggers. Love your stuff. And we'll end it like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. Subscribe. We'll holler at you guys later. Be good.